Hello everyone, this is the beginning of a new series, Strength Deep Season 1, Single Player. We're going to click X, and I've also got paper ready because I need, I know that I will need to write down a map. Facts, my man, facts. Pure facts. I may realize like, I need a pencil. I already know it's a five by five map. I already know the start is in the center. Never gonna make a start. We're gonna go cartographer and make a world. Actually, hold on, let's make a random world. Now, actually, I'm already on seed one, and we're gonna continue on seed one. But, uh, I'm sorry if I'm already on seed one. Season one, we we'll use seed one. We'll go up to a billion. Okay. Now we go to world editor and look at what we got. So our starter island is the pristine, quiet island. Some of the names here are weird. Okay, we've got the Megalodon boss fight here, everybody. I personally have never beaten a boss fight. I don't play this game often. Also, we still are going to mainly be on our Subnautica playlist. What's this? Lucica the Great. And this is the way out. Okay. North. South. West. East. Southeast, southwest, northwest, and um, northeast. Okay, we have our map ready just in case we ever need it to avoid the perils ahead. Now I can add like my own little island. Like look, if I was to I could insert Oof. Or uh <sighs> Anyways, we're gonna keep the islands like this. Uh, normal world existing. I'm looking at my watch. I'm like, ugh, I'm waiting. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna put the wildlife on passive because I don't play this often. I need to kind of get used. I'm season two. If we do it, uh, I do plan to put it on. Default. You know what? We'll put it on default, anyways. I probably made a big mistake just clicking the start button. Okay, we're in a plane. Strange they were the only person in said plane. 
suddenly there's a whole rip down the side of the plane. The guy's still flying. Get closer and closer to the water. And boom, we hit the table in front of us. Knock out. We're suddenly in the water. We make our way to the life room. It's up here. We fall asleep, I'm assuming. And then we wake up. We're in the center of the Pacific, I'm assuming. I'm assuming this game takes place in Point Nemo. Which I'm pretty sure is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, I think. Or Atlantic. Could be in the Atlantic, I don't know. I know this game takes in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Because it's the largest ocean. The most terrifying. I wake up to this little island here. We're gonna take it to shore. And we're not going to stay on this island. If I've learned anything from one of our fans, never stay on this island. Never. Absolutely not. There's always the same amount of materials on this island. I don't need to take much. I grab everything and board maybe four rocks just in case. Okay, that was lucky. I actually never knew about that before. That's not important to me. Now we do have something equally as important over here. Score, leather, and a ration. That is amazing. Perfect. We're healthy right now. We haven't lost any weight from our journey into the Pacific. By the way, this was a uh, accident. I'll tell you all the lore of the game in another video when we get close to it. The end. It's probably going to take a while to beat the game. I mean, I'll always gladly take the contributed scraps that are laying around. I'm going to ignore the tutorial because I never follow it. Who does? There's a lot more materials on the island than there usually is. I've already tried to do like two or three playthroughs of this and it's failed. Because of hammerhead sharks and having to straight up leave the raft and stuff here. Now I'm going to go sort my inventory out real fast. In the life raft. Because this is where we're primarily going to be. In this raft. We're going to go to storage and we're going to put another ration in there. Now... That way we don't have to worry about that. But, anyways. Also looks like there might be a storm. The UV is high. So yeah, being underwater does kind of fix our problem. But I do need to gather some sticks. So the only really important thing about the tutorial is to grab some sticks, maybe, and make a knife. That's really important. Also, on the first island, always want to chop these. I don't know why it got dark all of a sudden. 
Okay, now we gotta find you. This would normally be a perfect island, but you know, starter island. We're not staying here. Never. Here, little lesson, Stranded Deep. Never leave the fibrous sleeps. You leave the fibrous sleeps, you screw yourself over. Why does it keep getting darker and then brighter? I'm concerned the end of the world is near, everybody. We're all gonna die. Now give me that knife. PP is gonna be very important. It's a very good plant for curing poison. Grab as much as it as you can take. Is there only one yucca plant on this island? You've got to be kidding. There can't only be one. I have to like triple check to make sure because you can't miss a yucca plant. They're too important. Oh, thank God. There's three. Okay, that is amazing. Yeah, this knife makes business way faster, guys. Take as much of these as we can. And where was that other plant? Right over here. There's a crab, everybody. Where'd the other fibrous leaf go to? That's really disappointing. Okay, we're gonna get our FP SPF back up by sitting underwater. I'm not worried about killing the crabs. We can do it just to get our quest going along, but that's just so I don't have to deal with looking at this thing all season. And we skin the crab. Oh, it's disgusting. Well, of course, it's meat. Also, I don't understand why you get an achievement for cooking crab meat when it's literally part of the tutorial. I want to know what are you or a SPF go up? Fishy. Oh, by the way, here's our skills. <laughs> Can't spend all day over here. This would be a per- Oh, would you look at that. A poisonous starfish. Who would have thought? You step on this thing, you're screwed. You don't have level 3 crafting and you step on that thing and there's no PP plants. You're screwed. I want to go over there. Let me take the compass. Bruh. Hoping I didn't just drop my knife. This island's actually northeast, so we'll be heading over to the northeastern island. Sorry, I had to track myself on the map that I just made. Okay, now let's put the compass in. Here. Pick up that paddle. Grab the paddle. Then we'll bring our life raft over here. I cannot wait to get an actual boat. That way we don't have to deal with the life raft at all.
Cause sharks, they like to knock these over. Which way am I going? This is to the northeastern island. Hopefully we encounter no hammerhead shark. We do happen to be very mad. Hammerheads like attack three times as normally as the normal shark does. Like I mean great bites, blue sharks, tiger sharks, also known as the garbage can of the sea. Nobody likes a uh, tiger shark. They're trash cans, basically. They eat literally everything. I think I actually just saw a shark in the water. Also, it makes no sense to me how there's like smaller waves forming out here in the ocean. Because waves form when, like, the underwater waves hit the land, so this shouldn't be possible. Waves can't just form out in the middle of the ocean without the wind disrupting it. That's the only way a wave can form in the center of the ocean. It had to be a wind disruption. Because usually they're underwater till they, till they hit land. I mean, if they're extremely big and they, re like, the underwater wave hits the bottom of the ocean from the start, and just reaches all the way up to the top and sure maybe you'll be able to notice it I mean you'll always be able to notice it because of the fact that you know behind it or in front of it even you'll see water drainage levels like I just saw there with that wave it gets shallower than the wave happens now let's hope that there is no hammerhead. If there is, I have to end the video. I haven't even saved. Sorry about the lag spikes, everybody. We're almost there. see a few smaller ships looks like a decent base island if there's any dangers on it we can just kill it if we can get some spears also the waves are getting a little bit bigger must be a storm coming the last time I had already encountered a uh, hammerhead shark through here so I'm really happy right now shark I heard the shark music, and then I saw the tail. Hurry, 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 hurry. Make it to the shoreline. We're fine, everybody. I see a giant crab. That's not good. And it's that of boar. It's our worst nightmare, everybody. A boar. We gotta sneak to the back of the island. So everybody be 
quiet and let those enemies be AFK. Hopefully they don't roam to our part of the island when we hit the area we're gonna stay in. Okay, everybody, I see him. we seem to have done it. We're going along the back side of the island. I don't see many resources, but unfortunately there is a very large boar. This looks like a good part of the island. Yeah. Now, if only there was a way... Is that a cave? Sick. Oh my god, I just had so many good base ideas right here. If I could only just get up. It is kind of getting dark though, so... We're hitting night one, everybody! Place down a campfire. What do we need for a campfire? Four sticks, which we don't have. I'm gonna go to the shoreline here and drop a crate. And hope there was a light in here. I'm very mad. Shouldn't the moon like illuminate the skies? So I can see where I'm going. There we go. I'm sorry, but we are kind of going to have to ignore the danger on this island for now. Okay, we'll place it, uh... I'm assuming that's a tool. Two sticks, bruh. I don't even have a... You can see the large boar from here, everybody. I think they don't move as long as we aren't in their range. So we'll be fine. It's not going to stay on this side of the island. The boar isn't going to bother us. We'll kill it eventually. I'm kind of afraid it'll move towards the light, though. We're about to have some light. Hear that controller click. Now is the boar attracted over here? It's not moving. That's absolutely perfect. And we have our cave here. I don't have meat. I'm gonna see if I can find a crab. There should be crabs all over the place. I think I see a crab. That's a rock. Extreme disappointment right there. No, the mega crab sees me. The mega crab sees me. Gotta get out of its range. Gotta get out of its range. Ooh. If it comes over here, we're screwed. Birds. Crap. Would 
You shut up. That way the mega crab would leave us alone. Why can't I jump up here? Oh, that, I thought that was the boar that made my heart drop. There it is, everybody. Including the mega crab, it's moving. I don't think I'm in this range. This is why I should have put the wildlife on passive. Can I change that in the settings? So we're gonna keep it on passive for now. Uh. No. Oh my god. Let's go say hi to the crab. Everybody, look at this. The hog. Look at this. Look at this man! He was so terrifying before. Look at him now! Oh, he looks like a little cute little crab. Yeah, the hog's moving now. We're all fine, everybody. We're friends with the hog. Just uh, like um, Bob's Burgers hogwash. I feel like I should kill the crab. I'm going to kill the crab, everybody. We're killing it. Or we can kill a smaller crab. Yeah, let's kill a... Uh... Yeah, that made the other crab... It's staring at us. It's just watching us. You're coming with me. You see what I did? You see what I did? You're potentially next. Just do know that. It's got too big meat. Okay, we're just gonna throw the ground. Cook. Oh crap, I just realized we wasted like half the campfire. Okay, well I'm gonna make some piles. Over here. Let me get rid of this. Over here we'll just uh, stuff. Shut up, dumb birds. We'll put the planks over there. We'll put the, the wooden stuff over here. Over here, I can drop the... I'm so good with fibrous leaf drops. Look at all those beautiful fibrous leaves. I don't even think there's a single yucca plant on this island. If there isn't, I'm gonna be mad. Like, legit mad. We'll put our rocks there and the cloth. Along with the PP plant. What was that? Door is locked, okay. So 
Sorry, I had to make sure. I thought someone was drilling a hole in my memo's car. Trying to steal the gas. Everybody needs gas now, so. Crime's gonna be way up. Anyways. Enough talk about that. Now let us skin the crab. Oh, gross. Well, maybe gross, but you kind of have to deal with it. We also are no longer healthy. We're kind of dehydrating. While we watch our meat cook. We also are very good at harvesting stuff. So. Yay. While that cooks, I'm going to do the coconut thing. It shows... Don't go too high up. You'll kill yourself. You'll break a bone. Oh, I thought I saw a light over there. That really scared me. What the heck? Oh, that's just a... Uh, I'm gonna go chill out with my man, the boar, over there. I mean, it's nice to know the birds are here with me, but you know. Oops, we don't have our knife out. We'll cut down this palm tree. Tree falls away, it leans. Never forget. I guess it didn't fall away at least. We'll just uh, sit it down right here. Take our meat. Mmm, delicious. Cut the palm bunch. We could take the entire bunch. Or I can cut it into palm fronds. I don't know why it takes so long, but it does. We have another palm frond. We'll just keep our trunks over here. We'll bring it behind the fibrous leaves. Got a lot of palm fronds now. We need a lashing, so let's just make a lashing real fast. Level up on craftsmanship. Only have one of the three sticks, so let's get some more. We must kill all the small pine trees. We have what we need. Now I'm gonna place it like, uh, right there. We're just gonna sleep. Ooh, it's midday. Well, good morning. It's daytime, everybody. Really good night's sleep. We're just gonna drop this palm frond there. We have a bunch of materials. I say we're decently loaded. A lot of seagulls. It's a healthy environment. 
or I also cut down that tree. Now I'm gonna look around and see what resources we may gather. We have completed the tutorial. By now we would have gotten the achievement a horrible Pacific. Which I already have. It's a rock. Okay, I was mainly scouring for shipwrecks. Hey, there's my friend the giant crab. These little like this is, must be a fishing boat or something. There better be something in it. I say that and there's nothing in it. But there's another boat over here. Ooh, stingray. I don't think those are good for me to touch. Oh, it's one of these. It doesn't even have a console. It's just a wreck. With nothing even worthwhile on it. Waste of my time. It's toward the other. Uh, oh, we're physical. We're exercising a lot now that we're, you know, actually not on our phone 24 7 hours a day. <gasps> Scrap metal. Never really explored much of the island because, first of all, it was night, but you know. Smaller boars. I want to get up there. Anything over here? Okay, we made a whole loop around the island. I see something over there on that area, though. Is it worthwhile? Better be. Eh. Kind of. I mean, planks can be really important, so I guess it's pretty good. We'll drop uh, another conjugated scrap. Well, oh, we gotta drop it perfectly, dude. Oh, almost. Shook the whole pile, though, so we rattled it. I am actually going to drop the PP with the fibrous leaves. Just makes more sense to get the plants together. Okay. So we do have like this really cool formation. Remember, if you want to try out this seed for yourself, you can. It's not too difficult. But now I'm actually going to see what I can craft. I'm going to go into the shade over here. And we're gonna check out my crafting menu. Now we make a fire pit. Okay. Not gonna waste cloth on the torch. Now an axe, that actually is a decent thing to make, and I don't know why it's saying I'm near a stick. Maybe there's one phased into the side of the mountain over here. Okay, but what I do need for it is um stick, our lashing, and our two stone tools, so, uh, can I just go ahead and make the stone tools? Yeah, they're not. It's basically a sharpened piece of stone. That's really all it is.
That stick fell through the world. It's a disappointing stick. We got one singular stick. How helpful. I should be lucky I get anything. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a new knife soon. Look at my crude axe, everybody. It's two sticks holding a, th a giant stone together. Two sticks holding a stone in the middle with some lashing. Tied around it to hold it together. Now I am getting thirsty. I'm... That's I am a little hungry, so... We'll take a ration. We do have plenty of them. What on earth is this? It's just a pine tree. So there was a way up. Seems to be like a way up here. This seems like our best way to make it up. We'll make it up, everybody. No! Oh. Yeah, this is not safe. A storm? That's a storm. Bring this a little bit ways from the sea. We hit a storm, everybody. First storm of the playthrough, and I'm on my second island already. That's cursed. Uh, anyways. What else can we make while we're here? We can make, uh... Not much. We can make a crude hammer. Is that really worth it, though? Ooh, lightning. You know what? Let's make a fire pit. Everybody likes fire. We can make the, uh, hobo stove eventually. Where are my rocks? There's a rock. Let's walk around and see if we can cut some more rocks. Really nice storm, by the way, guys. Really nice. Holy crap, that's a big wave. Don't want any of my materials to get washed away. Look, you see how the water collapses before the wave even hits the shore. We're gonna move back to the island. I just wanted to see what it looked like underwater. Huge storms, though. Ooh, free stick. Always take free sticks, everybody. You drop that man beside your kindling. Now where is my fire? Make that a hobo stove eventually. I like how there's still high UV radiation.
I'm just gonna straight up ignore it. We can make a hook or a container shelf, but I'm not really interested in that. Tool belt, not important. We can literally go the whole game without making a tool belt. Uh, well, we are gonna need this hammer eventually, so. Might as well craft it. Let's bring this trunk over to here. We'll just cut this trunk. Why am I using my knife for this? I'm ruining my knife. Bring the trunk right here. Also, we leveled up on the harvesting if you didn't notice. Only need one stick. Then we need two rocks and then a lashing. Also, I didn't just scout this place for fibrous leaves. If it has none, we might have a problem. Let's look for a yucca plant. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <gasps> yes, yucca plant. Okay. We'll make it grow better as soon as we can. It's perfect. If there was three, that would be amazing, but I don't see a third. Take all the leaves. Don't forget the fruit. Any more? Ooh, hello. Beautiful. Any more you could plant. If it's just the two, that's fine, you know, but the third one would be nice. I really don't think there is another one. Also, I don't even think there's a way up on top of this mountain, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no more yucca plants. But we did get a lot of fibrous leaves. Also, we did get some yucca fruits to plant. Some PP and a lot more fibrous leaves now. All we need is the rocks. Also, it looks like the storm is clearing up. So we had a very short but sweet storm. I mean, all storms end up with a nice drizzle like this. You know, they keep the waves high, but not too high. I'm hoping that washed extra material up to the shore, but I doubt it did. Also, it's nice not to have to run away from a giant crab every second of my life. There's more cloth. Yeah, it does wash materials to the shore. So storms can be very important. Take remembrance of that, guys. Storms wash materials to the shore, like cloth. Sweet, sweet cloth. And is that a tree phased into a mountain? If I cut that, I kind of want. If I cut that down, it's gonna be amazing to watch. Now, what does that bring back? Some cloth and the two rocks I needed. Cloth, cloth. I got a hammer. Hammer. I love it up on craftsmanship as well. A crude hammer.
beautiful place. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to end the video here, unfortunately. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.